Hey everybody, welcome back to Box the Cross Quick Hits. Today we have a clip of Panther City playing against Vancouver Warriors. They run this play out of a TV timeout, so let's watch the clip. Yeah, so obviously they, they don't score here, but I do think they generate, you know, somewhat of a decent look. I do think the look could have been, or the scoring opportunity, if you want to call it, could have been a little bit better just with some super tiny adjustments. But I'll just go through kind of what they did and, and just give you my two cents on how it could have worked maybe just a little bit better. So they start the ball off up top out of the TV timeout. Their strong side left. Uh, the way they start this off is they swing the ball to the strong side, so uh, meaning to the other lefty player, then back up again, then to the righty side or the weak side, and then back up top. Once the topmost player receives the ball, that's when the action starts. So he passes it back down to the strong side. And as that pass is being made, the lefty crease offensive man, number 28 there right at the, the bottom left, uh, stretches behind the net which is actually super important for this play and I'll, I'll talk about that in just a little bit but the topmost player then cuts through uh, and actually while he's doing this he's pushing his defender down to the righty crease and so this is where I think the play could have been executed a little bit better so that top guy that just pushes defender all the way down to the righty crease I think, and I'm just making assumptions here, it was probably more than likely designed for him to push that guy into the righty creaseman's defender, um, which would create a much bigger lane. But you'll be able to see that number 19 on defense uh, gets an easy switch because he kind of just sidesteps that, um, that pick or, or seal or whatever you want to call it that's set for the right creaseman uh, and gets a nice easy lane uh, right towards the middle, which is where the, the play is ultimately designed to get the look at. But because he continues to just drive his man and, uh, you know, down towards that crease area and not kind of let off and, and take care of number 19, that righty crease defender, uh, I think it made this play a little bit more effect ineffective just because obviously uh, yeah, it just made it super easy on number 19's part, the defender, to, to sidestep in and get to the middle. Now, back to the lefty crease offensive man that went behind the net. It's actually super important that he goes there uh, because that makes his defender make a decision. I think this play is ultimately designed so that lefty bottom crease defenseman has to make a decision of whether or not to slide to the middle or take care of his guy behind the net and, and kind of defend that lane because it's pretty easy layup in this league if you can uh, get a easy swing pass behind the net and then obviously it's just a slam dunk um, from from behind the cage so uh, ultimately I, I think it's designed so that that guy has to make a decision there's two options I think the first one obviously being uh, the righty creaseman getting towards the middle uh, and getting a quick shot and then obviously if that lefty creaseman defenseman uh, goes to the middle then you have uh, the lefty offensive been behind the cage for a slam dunk ultimately I think this is a super easy to run really good play that literally I think any age group could run I mean obviously maybe not super super young it might be a little bit beyond their their grasp but uh, being able to understand those concepts uh, and obviously having the athletic ability to to make a dunk from behind the cage but uh, you get what i'm saying it's a super super easy but also really effective play and i, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you want more uh, be sure to drop a like uh, and please subscribe it really helps out the channel uh, there's going to be more content coming i've just been super busy recently with uh, a lot of stuff going on but uh, yeah thanks so much for joining and uh, i'll have a video out sometime next week